Hi everyone, welcome back to another Clean With Me video. Very exciting one today. My daughter's bedroom is stripped of all toys, so I'm jumping in and giving it a really deep spring clean. You'll actually see it's not that hard to do. Once you've got everything out of the room, it's just a couple of basic steps and you're good to go. All right, so let's jump in and start cleaning. I'm gonna start cleaning top to bottom so that any dust on surfaces, uh, once it gets damp from my cleaning cloth, it starts to go down. So you clean from the top and then you work your way down to the bottom and do your floor last. A little bit of spray and wipe. I'm just using my vinegar mix here. So that is half white vinegar, half tap water and the big, big, big squeeze of dishwashing liquid. And that's it. I just shake it up and I use that. And the cloth I'm using is just one of our regular face washes. I don't need a special cloth. What I like to do though is fold it into quarters and then use one quarter at a time and then refold the cloth so that I get as much cleaning as possible out of the one cloth. Then it goes in the washing machine and I can use it as many times as I like. Don't have to worry about wasting paper towel or rebuying chuck sponges or anything like that. I just like to keep it nice and simple and repeatable. All right, we're on to the front of the wardrobe doors now. These ones are quite tricky because for ages my daughter has had pictures that she's drawn sticky taped onto the front of her wardrobe. So I can give this a quick spray and wipe inside and I can spray and wipe the doors on the outside, but honestly there is so much old sticky tape residue on here that you'll see I go at it for ages and then I end up going back with like a, what's it called? Ice alcoholic white sort of spray just to get off as much of the sticky tape goo as I can. What can I say? It's a glamorous life. her wardrobe now this is really easy you just spray and wipe it same vinegar mix but I use a dry side of that cloth because the drier the cloth the more streak free the mirror will turn out and then I go down onto the surface areas make sure I do the front of the drawers and the drawer handles go back for more sticky tape stuck on the mirror <laughs> and I move on to the last wardrobe now so this one's just a quick spray and wipe there is some sticky tape on here as well so I will stop and kind of go for that a little bit and then after that is really just wiping the insides of each shelf inside the wardrobe and then this section is all done. If you're wondering why I'm not doing inside her drawers, it's because her clothes are still in there. So I took all the toys out of the room, but the clothes are still there. What I do is every time I uh, go through and switch out winter clothes for summer clothes or go through and declutter the things that don't fit her anymore, I give the drawers a wipe out every time anyway.
sticky tape and now we're going to go on to these little cubbies. It's really just spraying every level surface here and then I'm going to go over from the top to bottom and give her a little clock a wipe down as well and you can see I'm spot cleaning the wall too just for where little bits of extra dust or spider webs here and there have gathered over the last however long it's been since I've cleaned this room. Every time I clean the cubby area I do every layer including just under like the roof part because stuff still tends to gather up there as well. to the really really fancy coordinated part of the clean. I look like such a dork when I'm doing this but basically I'm just spraying and wiping the window. I'm starting right at the top of the windowsill here. Sorry you can't see this section and then I just do all the window frames, the glass, the windowsill. I'm always really surprised at just how much dust this gathers here and I think it's because you know when the windows open and the winds blowing you gather all that dust in that little trackway down the bottom of the window. Onto the desk now. We are almost done with the spraying and wiping, which is fantastic. And see how much easier it is to clean once you've got everything out. There's another video in the description box, I'll leave the link that explains why her room is toy free right now. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead. And last step here is just to wipe over the door, the door handle, just the sections where little sticky fingers might have gone at some point, top of the door frame. And now I'm too tired to vacuum, so this little D-Bot is going to do it for me. This robot vacuum cleaner is awesome. It will scan the area, it will vacuum everything, and then it will return itself to its charger. You can even use it with your smartphone app, so you don't even have to be in the same room or the same area to get it going. Very, very easy. And once you've got the room scanned, it just takes over and does it all. And look, it mops as well. It has a water function. It's the first one I've ever seen that has a mopping function as well as a vacuum. And I am in love. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and tap the bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.